Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023, and today I'm discussing gun violence. While according to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been over 15,000 people who have died from gun violence in the United States as of today, May 10th. Now, there have been 208 mass shootings, and May 10th is the only the 130th day of this year. Now, according to the Gun Violence Archive, mass shootings are, for the most part, an American phenomenon, and they define mass shootings as a minimum of four victims shot, either injured or killed, not including the shooter. Now, of that 15,047 people who have died from gun violence as of today, 57% of these were deaths from suicide. America's suicide rate has increased for 13 years in a row. Now, according to the CDC, suicide is the second leading cause of death for individuals ages 55 through 24. Again, 5 through 24 years in the United States. Now, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and that's why I'm discussing this. Now, I uh, utilize the Harvard School of Public Health website for additional information, and they have a section called Firearm Access as a Risk for Suicide. And they note that every study that has examined the issue of suicide has found that within the United States, access to firearms is associated with increased suicide risk. We all know that guns are more lethal than any other suicide means. They're quick and the result is irreversible. With a firearm, once that trigger is pulled, there is no turning back. And about 85% of suicide attempts with a firearm are fatal. And that's a much higher case fatality rate than for nearly every other suicide method. The Harvard School Public Health website focuses on means reduction. And means reduction is reducing a suicide, suicidal person's access to highly lethal means. And they say means reduction is an important part of a comprehensive approach to suicide prevention. And it is based upon the following understandings, that many suicide attempts occur with little planning during a short-term crisis. Intent isn't all that determines whether an attempter of suicide lives or dies. Means also matters. 90% of attempters who survive their suicide attempt do not go on to die by suicide later and access to firearms is a major risk factor for suicide. Firearms used in youth suicides generally belong to a parent and reducing access to lethal means saves lives. Now, I encourage you to visit the Harvard School of Public Health website and I'll include the link. So I want to wrap up by saying that I'm sure you've heard this before, but there is a crisis hotline, a lifeline 988 Lifeline Chat and Text is a service of the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Just dial 988 or text 988 and you can be connected to a counselor 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I want to pause to remember all the victims of mass shootings and gun violence. It's become all too common here in America. Now this weekend is Mother's Day. I'm switching. I want to end on a hopeful note and a promising message. I want to wish all mothers, biological, functional, whatever capacity that you're involved in the lives of people, a happy Mother's Day in advance. And that includes fathers who act as mothers. Be safe. Take care, folks. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.